Hello everybody, this is a review of the Tenru Sunflower Gitana. It is a full tang as you can see. Let me zoom in close to that. I took it apart so I could verify and inspect that it's not welded. It is one piece that flows all the way across. This is a traditional Gitana uh, way it's made and um, here's a uh, tsuba and there's your sunflower motif on there there's their your handle their uh, tsuka so it's uh, traditionally called it. it does not have real ray skin it's vinyl I've had river ray skin before. It's more like sandpaper. When you rub like this, you can feel it. It's just like hitting 40 grit sandpaper. This is a modern vinyl. I might have it replaced. <clears throat> this is kind of a good candidate to uh, clean up, make into a better sword. The uh, blade itself is great. It is a uh, fake come on. I've had real. Uh, uh, katanas with real hamans that were clay tempered and this would be like a wispy foggy through here instead of this um, but actually you can kind of clean it up make it look more realistic by uh, polishing this up maybe a little very fine sandpaper and then sharpening it all up this will make this look more subdued which is how it should be Scabbard is in nice shape. It's maroon, dark red, it's wood. Arrived no cracks, no damage. I've had some of these arrive damaged, cracked. Yeah. Luckily, this one is okay. I'll zoom in a little bit closer to so kind of get an idea. The blade is pretty nice, it's pretty straight. I don't know if the camera can pick up the straightness, on it's not very resolution in this. But it is straight. And the blade's fairly nice. There's a little bit of cleaning up. Um, it's medium sharp. You know, rubbing around in the, in the say of the scabbard kind of dulls them off a little bit. So I'll clean it up, polish the blade out a little bit better. Let's see if we can get this. Fairly traditional cup on the blade. Um, I'll give you the, here's the other hardware. Uh, this came off properly. I didn't have any problem taking it apart. There was nothing that was jammed together or glued. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. A little bit of ridge right here. Yeah, that should be sanded down, file a little bit. <clears throat> These are your spacers. But overall, uh, I was happy with it. Um, I only paid $40 for it, so you can't beat that price. You know, for a full tang. Which is the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. I wouldn't buy uh, a sword with a. Uh, so-called stainless steel is just a spot welded on what they call a rat tail. That means that as soon as you flex it's going to pop off, but 
my solid one piece like this I mean your all your strength is all the way through so you can, you can rely on it hopefully blade I'm happy with um, it is straight like I mentioned before and is a pretty nice blade too bad it's not a real uh, clay tempered but it, it's fine it's a little bit up you know what I would consider average you know and especially for the price you can't go wrong and, and then uh, of course uh, clean this up and replacing the replacing with real uh, ray skin would be great and here's a little decoration piece in here A little cleaning up, I think it'd be a great sword. All right, well, I guess that's it for the review. Any questions? Uh, shoot me an email. Okay.